Hey friends, it's me Lisa and I'm back with another review. Today I'm going to be talking about the film Wonder Woman 1984. I know I'm late to the party, but hey, better late than never, right? So before I get started, I want to say thank you to all my wonderful new subscribers. If you haven't already, please like, 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 share, 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 because guess what? It really helps the channel. Anyway, guys, before I get into this, I want to say that I love this film. And I know I've been on this channel bitching and complaining about action films and stuff like that. I don't mind action films, okay? And I don't mind superhero films. The issue is that I have is that when they're done too many, so Wonder Woman, you know, this is good. I mean, they could do more Wonder Woman, okay? They could do about 10 more Wonder Woman, but no more Spider-Man, no more Superman, and no more Batman, oh my God. I'm so sick of seeing these movies over and over again. But yes, definitely Wonder Woman. You could do like about 10 more Wonder Woman. And also, I wouldn't mind them doing a Supergirl. That'd be good. Like, I mean, I think there was a movie like back in 1984, I think it was, starring Helen Slater. And uh, no relation, <laughs> but uh, you know, I mean, she was you know uh, pretty good in that film. But I would like to see something new coming out right now. I mean, I think we you know we've waited so long for you know um, Wonder Woman to come out. You know, she came out within I guess the last ten years or so. But now I'd really like to see uh, Supergirl, more female superheroes. I wouldn't mind seeing that because I think you know, like I said, we've seen Batman, we've seen Spider Man, we've seen Superman, and we've seen them thousands, dozens of times, even in their movies and other movies. So enough of that. But I would like to see more female superheroes. Even Catwoman. They could do like a... I know they did one with Halle Berry, a whole thing with Halle Berry that didn't work out very well. But I'd like to see that recasted and them to do some more Catwoman, more Batwoman, more Wonder Woman. Things like that. Because I think, you know, um, you know, the market is needed for that. If they want to do more superhero films, definitely go with the women you know, um, whole group into in terms of the superheroes. Enough of the guy, Batman, you know, Superman, Batman, and all that stuff. I know I've said it so many times, but this is how annoyed I am with those movies. So, yes, do more Wonder Woman. Anyway, before I get into that, Wonder Woman, okay, is 1984. I really loved it. Great action, great movie. Everything was good. I, you know, I really enjoyed it because, you know, I, I, I like action films, but I think sometimes what the problem with action films is that there's action film and they don't really have any storyline. This had a lot of storyline and I really enjoyed it, you know, that there is a lot of things. I don't want to ruin it for you as usual, but I really enjoyed that there was a lot of things going on in this film. And for me, as a film goer, I definitely would recommend it to you guys. One thing I will say is that, um, and I'm going to say her name wrong, I'm going to try to pronounce it Gal Gadot. Is that how you say it? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, um, you know, she's amazing. I think she's, you know, perfect for the role, but I think she should really protests and more women actresses should protest. I know with this film it came out during whole COVID, the whole COVID situation so it's a really bad situation unfortunately but I heard she only got 10 million for this film and I think the first one she got only like 300,000 and I know for like the average person they're like what do you mean only 10 million only 300,000 well let me just put that in perspective for you like I mean if this was a male that did like a superhero movie, he'd probably be getting like 20 million easily. And the first mill, like, I mean, I remember like, I think it was Christopher Reeves when he did his first Superman movie. Don't get me wrong if I'm misquoting it, but I think he got around like the same amount that she's getting now. And that was back in the 70s. And I think, you know, really and truly, you know, a lot of these women super films, superhero films, do gross a lot of money. And I think it's about time that, you know, the pay skill is you know on par especially if you know you're doing an action film that's going to be raking in a lot of money i realized with this film per se because it came out in covid everybody needed their money that this didn't make the money that it would have made had it been pre-covid but i'm just saying that i think that you know women need to be paid on the same amount that men do especially if they're a top performer like like this actress is right now because she's doing like, you know, superhero films, you know what I mean? I mean, I know there has been a lot of people like Demi Moore, Julia Roberts, you know, that have were, were really raking in a lot of money at the prime of their career. But I like to see more films with women that are, you know, the lead role, bringing in more money for the films. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, guys, if you haven't seen it, you definitely should see Wonder Woman 1984 because it was amazing. Anyway, that's it for me for now, guys. If you like what you've seen, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye.